Hello everyone and welcome to a very special edition of our Battle 4 channel. Today we will focus on a tool developed within PwC that helps you to calculate the potential impact of the proposed rules on your risk-weighted assets. The tool that we will look at today is called the Credit Risk Calculator and it is used to calculate risk-weighted assets according to the proposed revisions to the standardized approach for credit risk the um, revised internal rating-based approach to credit risk, as well as the new floor rules. So let's start by having a look at the input files that we will use to get the information into our tool. As you can see, this is a very simple Excel sheet in which all of the positions for which capital requirements shall be calculated are listed. Um, you can see here a, a hypothetical portfolio that we have created to show you how this tool works. And you can see that we need some information which should be readily available within your regulatory reporting software. For example, we need an exposure class, sometimes um, with an additional subcategory. We need some numbers to identify securities. We also need information regarding collateral, if there is collateral, um, the currency, maturity dates, some information regarding subordination, notional FX rates, book values, and so on and so forth. And you can see here that we also require the risk weights and risk weighted assets as they are currently calculated according to the CRR rules. Now, I will close the input file and start the tool. The tool is based on Microsoft Access, which allows it to enhance the tool in the future or to adopt it to future consultation papers published by the Basel Committee. Working the tool is rather easy. You basically only have two buttons which you must use. The first one is used to import the data. And um, this is exactly the Excel file that I have just showed you. You can see it here is the input file. It is imported into the tool, which takes nearly no time. And then all you have to do is click on the Start Calculation button. Now the tool performs a number of calculations using a set of rules, which you can also have a look at. And after the calculation is performed, there is a number of ways to look at the results of this calculation. For example, you may have a look at um, the credit quality steps and the risk rates that are used for the calculation of the different exposures. And once again, you can see here that this can be easily adapted if risk weights should change within the continuing consultation process. We also have included a legal reference to the BCBS 347 paper to easily allow you to find out why certain risk weights are used. The results can be seen in this window where you can see for each and every of the positions that I showed you before in the input file what is the risk weight according to the current standardized approach and the revised uh, risk weight according to BCBS 347. You can also have a look at some graphical representation showing the increase in risk weighted assets between the current approach and the future standardized approach. However, to make this more workable and to have a better look at the results in detail, you can also export the information into a separate Excel file. And I will show you this Excel file in a second. Here you can see once again all the positions that we've been looking at and you can see the calculations that have been performed and the results of these calculations. Obviously, this Excel file may be tailored in a variety of ways to allow you to see all the information that you need for each and every position that has been input into the tool. And once again, we have also included 
a legal reference, though, that you can have a look at the Basel Committee's consultation paper and find out which paragraph was used to determine the risk rates for a specific position. To give you just one example, um, if we look at this position here, it's a land acquisition financing using a special purpose vehicle and uh, it currently can be treated according to the rules for commercial residential real estate. We see a risk rate of 50% here for the current standardized approach and 150% for the future standardized approach. And you can also see here this uh, short acronym ADC, Acquisition Development and Construction Finance, which is responsible for this large increase in the risk rate. As I just said, this Excel file can be tailored to provide you with all the information that you need. And we can also, of course, use the information to calculate risk-weighted assets to cluster the results, for example, by um, which part of the bank, which department is responsible for those positions so that you can not only have a number regarding the impact on your overall risk-weighted assets, but also, for example, on the impact on a specific department within your bank. The tool is currently being developed further to also be able to calculate risk-weighted assets according to the IRB approach. It will allow a comparison for exposures which are currently treated according to the IRB approach with the standardized approach so that you also receive information on how the migration of exposures from the IRB to the standardized approach will impact your risk-weighted assets in the future. And as I already pointed out, there is a number of tables which can be tailored to change the risk weights should the Basel Committee in the upcoming consultation paper propose new risk weights for specific positions. And with this easy tool, you can calculate risk-weighted assets according to the standardized approach and also to the IRB approach and have a look at the impact of the proposed floor rules. For more information about this and many other tools, visit our Basel4 homepage or join our Basel4 YouTube channel to learn more. Thank you. Thank you.